Jamaica Who is the immigrant? If we are living in the same land Sharing the same sun Who is the immigrant? Today we have a special panelist Dr. J. Nguyen Or Dr. J. as she's affectionately known And she's founder and president of Dr. J's Natural She runs five businesses Welcome to the show, Dr. J. Thank you, Pamela. Thank you for having me. It's great to be here. It's amazing. So you have worked, you were a pharmacist. You've worked as a pharmacist over a decade and you own 20 years, 20 years, and you own five businesses. Wow. First of all, let's start from the beginning. Every immigrant, like we said, has a story to tell, but yours is pretty unique. <laughs> you know, yours is pretty unique. Tell us about your journey to this country. It's going to take days, but I'm no, going to sort it. No, let's get a concise version. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just teasing. <laughs> well, the concise version is I was in a little boat with a, over 100 people. Wow. So we're literally compacted in the fish compartment, and in the middle is the ice. So literally, you, we have, we're escaping from Vietnam, from the communists for political asylum. So right. we're escaping in these fish boat. Wow. And so um, whether you, you risk your life, you risk your everything, and you could die at sea. Or um, as a matter of fact, my older sister that escaped and the boat gets split in half and she died at oh, sea. Oh, no. Yeah. And so for a lot of the immigrants, Vietnamese immigrants hmm. that are escaping by boat, that yeah. are... Um, what we call it, boat people. Yeah, I was going to say. Pretty much is like we we value the the word freedom, Good. because for us, um, we want that freedom. That freedom. That that we don't get from our homeland. So let me ask you: Do you, as someone, like you said, the boat people, do you share that story with pride, or does it bring conjure images that you don't want to remember? No, definitely with pride, because mm -hmm. I know what it means to have freedom, and I know what it takes to obtain freedom. Yes. So definitely it's with pride. Because you see how far you've come. Definitely, yes. So, so sorry that you lost your sister trying to come here. And just think about where we are today with the refugee situation. We have um, a regime right now that would not let the immigrants who are fleeing, basically, come into the United States. How do you feel about how the children, especially, who are caught in this situation, how do you feel about how they're treated? And they're it's essentially refugees in today's Definitely. America. Definitely. It's really sad. I, I did read up about um, what our presidents uh, and the whole immigrants agenda lately um, on the news and, and whatnot. So for me, I try not to get involved in politics because being an entrepreneur, you try to stay away from Absolutely. right? Absolutely. Everyone. Yeah. <laughs> But then at the same time, I feel sad for um, these kids. They are helpless. They don't know much, and they they need all the help that we can help. And as a human being, whether you are an American, uh, Caucasian, or an doesn't African matter. American, it doesn't matter. You would reach out. For Could you imagine what would have happened when you were a child in the boat? Yes. And if you had been turned down, like mm. go back. Vietnam? Basically, I, I would be a slave worker by now, or I would not be able to go to college, because definitely that was the reason, one of the main reasons why my mom sent my brothers, my older brother and my older sister to escape Vietnam by boat ahead of us, why my dad is being imprisoned by the communists, and their way of saying reconcentration camp for three months, and it turned out to be a 10 years um, concentration camp for my dad. So, you know, you're being tricked into um, these communist teaching and theory. So definitely if I get turned away or I, I didn't have a, a safe escape, it took literally for my mom, my younger brother and I, and now he's an attorney. So talk about immigrants and working hard and obtaining a higher education. So it took us five trials in order for us to be able to safely make it here to the U.S., and getting um, into to the U.S. is because my brother and my sister is able to have um, an American family sponsor them as a foster child. Wow. And then for that, they're able to sponsor my mom and, and I and my younger brothers. And has that, I mean, think about your personal story, it's very impactful. How did that impact the zeal that you have so much for success? You have five businesses. Tell us a little bit about Dr. J's natural that's your business, right? Right. Tell us a little bit about it, how 
that journey has impacted what you do today? Through all the hard work, through all the um, uh, risking your life, through watching how my mom being um, a single mom, raising the five of us, and working three jobs, waking up at four in the mornings. So for us, we have that um, that fire spirit instilled in us that we have to make it do or die, that we have to live mom's dream, yes. meaning we have to listen to her. And although she may not know much, mm. but she said that if you guys are obtaining a higher education, no one can take that away from you. And then for that, my oldest brother became an attorney, you know, two accountant, an engineer, and um, my younger brother an attorney. So for, for that, we make her proud. We, yes. we, we make her realize that whatever her teaching is, although it may not be coming from the most educated woman, but she works hard for us. She loves us. And, and for that, we want to, to fulfill her American dream. And that entails become our your dream, dream as yes. well. I can just feel the passion, and I'm sure the listeners can feel your passion. It's almost as if you're transported right into that journey and how far you've come. And really, I really commend you for that. Hey, if this is your first time visiting Team TV channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button here below and ring the notification bell so you will be notified when we post new content. So just give us some wisdom, okay? The, what kind of wisdom so, so would you I give? So can I tell you about my five businesses in, yes. in one, oh, you know what? one sentence? Absolutely. Let's talk about your businesses. Yes. So being a clinical compounding pharmacist, mm -hmm. I realized that this is not the American dream that I wanted to do. Okay. But then I, I obtained a higher education and I did what I needed to do. Mm -hmm. And then I realized that I, I am not helping people being a... A pharmacist being a, a legal drug pusher. Yes. I'm poisoning my patient. Yes. Because mm. after 10 years, my patient tells me, Dr. J, I listen to everything you say, but how come my blood pressure, I keep having to take my blood pressure medication every yes. month. It's not treating my blood pressure. I'm like, oh, yeah, that's right. And then, you know, for diabetes, all of that. So basically, it's a big um how, uh, that's not. That's another topic to go into. So I realized mm. that I am not going to be a happy camper if I realize that I am poisoning my patient. Yes. So for that, I turned into a natural herbalist where I have to literally took two years off mm -hmm. to learn about my Eastern root, which Correct. is herbals, mm -hmm. Ayurvedic, the plant, Chinese medicine. Mm -hmm. So then I have to take two years off to learn about... Um, all the plants, all the um, herbs. Yes. So I have to travel to China, India, Vietnam to learn about the plants. And then for that, I combine my Western teaching being a compounding pharmacist. So if I can make Viagra from scratch, I can make any supplement that would be effective, that would be awesome, that would be um, doing what it's supposed to do. So I know how to com com buying ingredients yes. so that it will work synergistically. From your pharmacy training exactly. and now. So then for that, I say I'm going to bet my license on it that it will be the bomb. So yes. Dr. J's Natural came about is a line of supplement yes. that I guarantee that it has to work over 75% of the population because I test them out before I launch into the market. Yes. So that's one business. Mm -hmm. So that make me... Happy. So the five businesses is not the same thing? It's not the same oh, thing. Oh, okay. We need all day. But. <laughs> Second business is CBD. Okay, what's CBD? CBD stands for cannabidiol, mm -hmm. and that's naturally coming from the hemp. Okay. So we heard about medical marijuana. Mm -hmm. So five years ago, I was the first clinical health professional that stands behind medical marijuana. Wow. And Snoop Dogg and Montel William bring Dr. J on their radio show and interview Dr. J and say, why as a pretty woman like you would be so adamant and advocating about medical marijuana? I'm like, mm -hmm. well, it's something that I research and I believe in. And I also know that there's a lot of hidden agenda behind this plant. So for that, I am going to stand up for what I firmly know that mm -hmm. is the truth. And so guess what, Pamela and everyone? It turns out now that last That's week, what is the 
federal lift the CBD hemp bills for all the farmer. That is a very good plan. They can plan it and they can get grants and loans. So now it's going to be a floodgated with all the big player like Target, so you're a pioneer Walmart. right there. Exactly. And so I know how to do mm-hmm. everything in terms of now people come to me and say, do CBD cookie, do CBD gummy, do <laughs> CBD skin care for us, do the vaping for us. It's yes. amazing. And what's the third? The third one mm-hmm. is my bling bling jewelry design oh, okay. business. Okay, that we is see selling that. in okay. Bloomingdale. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And the fourth business? The beauty brush device yes. that um, I gave yes, you. Yes, you gave me. Is Quick Sonic yes. Q Y K S O N. So that's a business on its own. It's a beauty brush device, and, and we're gonna come out with all. So it's a beauty tech mm-hmm. uh, businesses company where we merge the emerging beauty skincare yes. into the technologies to make your skin beautiful and younger. And the reason for that is because I have to keep up because my husband is 11 years younger than I oh. am. <laughs> <laughs> That's another show, Dr. J. That's another show. I was the fifth business. So we can the compounding pharmacy. Okay. <laughs> so basically, you've created a brand. So I was actually, you should sit in this seat because <laughs> you took the question from me. But I was going to say, give a tip about what it takes to start a business and what should someone keep in mind when they want to run any kind of business. Tips about being an entrepreneur. Even one tip. Yes. Um, you have to work hard. You cannot be a nine-to-five employee and expect to be an entrepreneur. Absolutely. And, and do it with passion. There you go. Because when you do it with passion, the money will come, Ugh. and it's no longer becoming a job. It's, it's fun. You know what? That is so true because the passion that you exude – you're happy you have five businesses. I don't know how you run five businesses and stay pretty and sane and not age. <laughs> Thank you, you know. <laughs> so <laughs> you're loving what you do. And I guess the message is the passion and the ha- hard work. Yes. Right? Mm-hmm. So thank you so much for sharing. A lot of wisdom now. I hope the listeners got that message. And this is Impact on KPFK 90.7 FM. I'm your host, Pamela Ann Chang. And thank you, Dr. J. Thanks for watching today's video. For more Team TV videos about immigrant lifestyles, click on the subscribe button here below and ring the notification bell so you will be notified when we upload new content. We upload new content every single week. See you next time on Team TV.